The curse of the Billy Goat was a sports-related curse supposedly placed on the Chicago Cubs Major League Baseball franchise in 1945, by Billy Goat Tavern owner William Sianis. The curse lasted 71 years, from 1945 to 2016. Because the odor of his pet goat, named Murphy, was bothering other fans, Sianis was asked to leave Wrigley Field, the Cubs' home ballpark during Game 4 of the 1945 World Series. Outraged, Sianis allegedly declared, them Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more, which had been interpreted to mean that either the Cubs would never win another National League, NL, pennant, or that they would never again win a World Series, at least for the rest of Sianis' life. The Cubs lost the 1945 World Series to the Detroit Tigers, and did not win a World Series championship again until 2016. After the incident with Sianis and Murphy, the Cubs did not play in the World Series for the next 71 years until, on the 46th anniversary of Billy Sianis's death, they defeated the Los Angeles Dodgers 5-0 in Game 6 of the 2016 National League Championship Series to win the NL pennant. The Cubs defeated the American League, AL, champion Cleveland Indians 8-7 in Game 7, which lasted 10 innings, to win the 2016 World Series, thus ending the curse. Origins of the Curse The exact nature of Sianis's curse differs in various accounts of the incident. Some state that he declared that no World Series games would ever again be played at Wrigley Field, while others believe that his ban was on the Cubs appearing in the World Series making no mention of a specific venue. Sianis's family claims that he dispatched a telegram to team owner Philip K. Wrigley which read, You are going to lose this World Series and you are never going to win another World Series again. You are never going to win a World Series again because you insulted my goat. Whatever the truth, the Cubs were up two games to one in the 1945 series, but ended up losing Game 4 as well as the best of seven series, four games to three. The curse was immortalized in newspaper columns over the years, particularly by syndicated columnist Mike Royko. The curse gained widespread attention during the 2003 postseason, when Fox television commentators played it up during the Cubs-Marlins matchup in the National League Championship Series, NLCS. According to an account in the Chicago Sun of October 7, 1945, the goat was turned away at the gate, and Sianis left the goat tied to a stake in a parking lot and went into the game alone. There was mention of a lawsuit that day, but no mention of a curse. Some believe that the curse actually goes back to 1908, the last time the Cubs won the World Series due to the underhanded way the Cubs advanced to that year's World Series, which angered the baseball gods. Between that 1908 triumph, which was the Cubs' second world championship, they'd also won the series in 1907 to become baseball's first back-to-back -back winners as well as the first franchise to appear in three consecutive World Series, and 1945, the first year of the alleged Billy Goat. Curse the Cubs won the National League pennant six times but failed to win the series, in 1910, in 1918, won by the Boston Red Sox who themselves would soon become victims of an alleged baseball curse and not win another series for 86 years, in 1929, in 1932, known for Babe Ruth's called shot at Wrigley Field, in 1935, a rematch of the 1908 series against the Detroit Tigers with the Tigers winning this time, their first series triumph in five appearances dating back to the early 1900s. And in 1938. Alleged Curse Incidents On September 9, 1969, at Shea Stadium, the Cubs played the New York Mets in a critical pennant race game. A stray black cat walked between Cubs captain Ron Santo, who was on deck, and the Cubs dugout. The Mets would pull ahead of the Cubs in that series and eventually win both the newly formed NL East and the 1969 World Series. In 1984, 
the Cubs' postseason appearance was dashed by the San Diego Padres. The Cubs were victorious in the first two games of the best of five series. However, in Game 5, first baseman Leon Durham let a ground ball get past his allegedly wet glove in the bottom of the seventh inning. The Padres went on to score four runs to win the game and the series. Bill Buckner played for the Chicago Cubs for seven seasons before being traded to the Boston Red Sox halfway through the 1984 season. The Red Sox were at the time also considered a cursed franchise, and had not won a World Series since 1918, when, coincidentally, they had beaten the Cubs. Buckner and the Red Sox advanced to the 1986 World Series against the New York Mets, and took a 3-2 series lead coming into Game 6. On October 25, 1986, in one of the most famous baseball errors of all time, Buckner allowed a ball to pass between his legs at first base, allowing the Mets to score the winning run in the 10th inning and win Game 6. Later analysis of a photograph of Buckner walking off the field after his blooper showed that he had been wearing a Cubs batting glove under his glove at the moment he committed his error. In 1989, the Cubs won 93 games and faced the San Francisco Giants in the National League Championship Series, now a best-of-seven series. After splitting the first two games at home, the Cubs headed to the Bay Area where despite holding a lead at some point in each of the next three games, bullpen meltdowns and managerial blunders ultimately led to three straight losses. In 1998, behind NL MVP Sammy Sosa, the Cubs won the wild card after winning a tiebreaker game vs the Giants. However, they were swept in the National League Division Series by the Atlanta Braves. In 2001, the Cubs led the wild card by 2.5 games in early September. The run died when Preston Wilson hit a three-run walk-off home run off of closer Tom Flash Gordon, which halted the team's momentum. The Cubs were unable to make another serious charge, and finished at 88-74, five games behind both Houston and St. Louis, who tied for first. On October 14, 2003, in the eighth inning of Game 6 of the NLCS, with Chicago ahead 3-0 and holding a three games to two lead in the best of seven series, several spectators attempted to catch a foul ball off the bat of Marlins second baseman Luis Castillo. One of the fans, Steve Bartman, reached for the ball, deflecting it and disrupting a potential catch by Cubs outfielder Moises Alou. If Alou had caught the ball, it would have been the second out in the inning and the Cubs would have been just four outs away from winning their first National League pennant since 1945. Instead, the Cubs ended up surrendering eight runs in the inning and losing the game, 8-3. When they were eliminated in the seventh game the next day, the incident was seen as the first domino in the turning point of the series. In 2004, the Cubs were leading the wild card by 1.5 games over San Francisco and Houston on September 25th, and both of those teams lost that day, giving the Cubs a chance at increasing the lead to a commanding 2.5 games with only eight games remaining in the season. However, reliever LaTroy Hawkins blew a save to the Mets, and the Cubs lost the game in extra innings, a defeat that seemingly deflated the team as they proceeded to drop six of their last eight games as the Astros won the wild card. The Cubs won their division in both 2007 and 2008, but were swept in the NLDS both years by the Arizona Diamondbacks and Los Angeles Dodgers respectively. In 2015, the Cubs finished second in the National League wild card race and defeated the Pittsburgh Pirates in the wild card game and the St. Louis Cardinals in the NLDS to advance to the NLCS against the New York Mets. However, the Cubs batted an NLCS record low of .164 and lost the series in a four-game sweep. The Cubs thus became the first team ever to get swept in a playoff series by a team they swept in their regular season series. Sionis's goat was named Murphy. In the 2015 National League Championship Series, 
this was referenced by fans of the New York Mets, who joked that Daniel Murphy, the Mets' second baseman and series MVP, was not the first GOAT, greatest of all time, in reference to Murphy's postseason heroics to that point, named Murphy to keep the Cubs out of the World Series. Attempts to Break the Curse Prior to his death on October 22, 1970, Billy Sianis himself attempted to lift the curse. Sam Sianis, his nephew, has gone to Wrigley Field with a goat multiple times in attempts to break the curse, including on opening day in 1984 and again in 1989, both years in which the Cubs went on to win their division. In 1994, Sam Sianis went again, with the goat, to stop a home losing streak and in 1998 for the wildcard tiebreaker game, which the Cubs won. In 2003, the Chinese Zodiac's Year of the Goat, a group of Cubs fans headed to Houston with a billy goat named Virgil Homer and attempted to gain entrance to Minute Maid Park, home of the Astros, division rivals of the Cubs at the time. After they were denied entrance, they unfurled a scroll, read a verse and proclaimed they were reversing the curse. The Cubs won the division that year and then came within five outs of playing in the World Series, but were undone by the Florida Marlins' eight-run rally immediately following the Steve Bartman incident. The Cubs then lost the following game and with it the series. The Marlins went on to win the World Series against the New York Yankees. Further salting the wound the Astros earned their first World Series berth two years later and their crosstown rival the Chicago White Sox won the series. On February 26, 2004, at the Harry Karai restaurant in downtown Chicago, the Bartman baseball was electrocuted in an attempt to break the curse, leaving nothing but a heap of string behind. In another bizarre twist, it was reported that a butchered goat was hung from the Harry Karai statue on October 3, 2007, to which the Chicago Sun-Times noted, if the prankster intended to reverse the supposed billy goat curse with the stunt, it doesn't appear to have worked. While the Cubs did win the NL Central Division title in 2007 and 2008, they were swept in the first round of the postseason in both years by the Arizona Diamondbacks in 2007 and the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2008. The elimination by Arizona came on October 6, the same date that the GOAT appeared at Wrigley Field in 1945. The act was repeated before the home opener in 2009, this time a GOAT's butchered head being hung from the statue. The act was futile as the Cubs were eliminated from postseason contention on September 26, 2009. In 2008, a Greek Orthodox priest sought to end the curse during the 2008 playoffs with a spraying of holy water in and around the Cubs' dugout to no avail. On April 1, 2011, a social enterprise called Reverse the Curse, dedicated to bringing innovations to poverty by giving goats to families in developing countries, was initiated. The goats provide the family with milk, cheese, and alternative income to help lift them out of poverty. Reverse the Curse has expanded into reversing the curses that afflict the world's children in education and obesity. On February 25, 2012, a group of five Chicago Cubs fans calling themselves Crack the Curse set out on foot from Mesa, Arizona, home to the Cubs' spring training facilities, to Wrigley Field. They brought along a goat named Wrigley whom they believed would be able to break the curse of the billy goat upon arrival at Wrigley Field. Additionally, they attempted to raise $100,000 for the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. On April 10, 2013, a severed goat's head was delivered to the Cubs in a possible effort to lift the curse on the team. It was addressed to the club's owner Thomas S. Ricketts. On September 22, 2015, Patrick Bertoletti, Tim Brown, Takeru Kobayashi, Kevin Strahl and Bob Schaud consumed a 40-pound goat in 13 minutes and 22 seconds at Taco in a bag restaurant in Chicago. On October 7, 
2016, the owners of the Chicago Diner, a local vegetarian eatery near Wrigley Field, teamed up with Farm Sanctuary to try to reverse the curse of the billy goat by displaying posters in the windows at their locations. The posters feature a goat named Peanut who urges Chicagoans to reverse the curse by going meat-free. Former Cubs who won a World Series title elsewhere. Another factor that may play a role in the curse is the number of players, 42 of them are listed below, who won World Series titles after leaving the Cubs, known as the ex-Cubs factor. These players include Andy Pafko, who, coincidentally, played in the 1945 World Series as a member of the Cubs, Gene Baker, Smokey Burgess, Don Hoke, Dale Long, Lou Brock, whose first title was in 1964 after a mid-season trade to the St. Louis Cardinals, Lou Johnson, Jim Brewer, Mo Drabowski, Don Cardwell, Ken Holtzman, Paul Nose, Billy North, Fred Norman, Bill Madlock, Manny Trillo, Greg Gross, Rick Munday, Bert Hooten, Bruce Sutter, Willie Hernandez, Milt Wilcox, Joni Ekro, Dennis Eckersley, Joe Carter, Greg Maddux, Joe Girardi, as both a player and a manager, Jose Viscano, Glen Allen Hill, after his second stint with the Cubs, his title came in 2000 after a mid-season trade, Luis Gonzalez, Mike Morgan, Mark Grace, Mark Bellhorn, Bill Mueller, Scott Ayer, whose title came in 2008 after he had been traded from the Cubs during the season, Tom Gordon, Matt Stairs, Jamie Moyer, Mark DeRosa, Mike Fontenot, Ryan Theriot, Angel Pagan, and, in 2013, Ryan Dempster. Dontrell Willis and John Garland were traded as minor leaguers, Coincidentally, the former won a World Series ring with the Marlins team that defeated the Cubs in the 2003 NLCS. Timlin Seacom, who went on to win three World Series titles, was originally drafted by the Cubs, but he did not sign with them. End of the Curse In 2016, the Cubs won the World Series for the first time since 1908 ending the historic 108-year drought and destroying the curse. The Cubs ended the 2016 season with a 103.58.640 record. It was their first 100-win season since 1935, 154.649, their best since 1910. 10450.675 and the sixth 100 win season in franchise history. The Cubs won the National League Championship Series, NLCS, their first pennant in 71 years, with a 5-0 shutout in Game 6 against the Los Angeles Dodgers at Wrigley Field on October 22, 2016, the 46th anniversary of Billy Sianese's death. The Cubs beat the Cleveland Indians in the 2016 World Series in seven games after trailing in the series three games to one. They won Game 7 by a score of 8-7 in 10 innings at Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.